Shots also ring out as thousands of people gathered to celebrate Halloween in downtown Orlando last night. Tonight, police are looking for the gunman. News 6's Troy Campbell is live in downtown Orlando where residents are voicing their concerns. Troy. Well, Lisa and Matt, every single person we spoke to tonight in downtown Orlando said that they were aware of the shooting showing their concern. Well, some say they're thankful they were already inside asleep. Others say they were nearby when it happened. My friend was like, hey, there was a shooting. Let's go this way. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Natalia Montalvo says she was in downtown Orlando celebrating Halloween when bullets flew nearby. As she, she told did. us, so we just went around we went the, the completely way. opposite way. Orlando police say a total of seven people were injured in two different shootings just a few blocks and hours apart. The first shooting taking place near Robinson Street in Lake Eola at about 10.30 p.m. Sunday night, injuring three people, including a 13-year-old. The second shooting at about 1.30 in the morning near Orange Avenue and Wall Street, injuring another four people, including a 16-year-old. Video shows people frantically leaving the scene as confusion filled the crowd. I thought it was crazy because there was so much police. So I was like, well, no, maybe nothing's going to happen because there's so much like, police and stuff. John Horsley lives downtown and says he was asleep when the shootings happened. Well, honestly, I'm not surprised, but uh, knowing that it's getting busier in Florida and in Orlando in general. Horsley says he sees a significant law enforcement presence downtown on any given night and his optimistic video surveillance in the area will capture evidence to hold the shooter or shooters responsible. A lot of cameras. Um, I really don't have to worry about when it comes to safety. I feel generally safe. Chief Rolone also says his investigators are still reviewing surveillance video for any evidence. He also says detectives are learning that at least one of the shootings began as an argument over social media. And with no arrests tonight, anyone with information is asked to call Orlando police. Live in downtown Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you.